Well, I'm back now in the UK and I think I've recovered from my jet lag. So I've been doing a little bit of initial work on the LTO BMS that I brought back, which came from Tim's car after we did the lithium 84 cell seven block upgrade for him at the uh, Insight Fest event. And uh, I understand he's going to do some more reports on how that's going shortly. Now we took the BMSs off his packs because uh, at the time we didn't think we could use them. But uh, thanks to some information posted by Mario and some work by others who've obviously been using the LTO or looking at the LTO BMSs, uh, we have made some progress. So here we have uh, an LTO uh, BMS. Um, this is active and it's wired to a 12 tap um, BCM fooler. You've seen those before. Uh, and it's powered up at 12 volts and etc. And I've just tacked on soldering to the backs of the socket because I don't want to damage the socket and I've soldered onto the tabs here because I didn't want to damage the mounting points. I'd take the back off. Um, so this one happens to be CAN ID 204. Uh, so I've fiddled around with the BCM replacer. And this is my uh, BCM replacer which I have above my workstation so it uh, is useful for something with difficulty focusing today for some reason the camera anyway the BCM replacer uh, and hopefully you can see this is actually displaying some voltages um, so yes it's talking it's receiving the v, the cell voltage data from the LTO BMS with the CAN ID 204 so it should be fairly straightforward to uh, get the BCM replacer to receive all the voltages from a uh, set of LTO blocks. Now you'll need to make sure that hopefully they're from the same car because we would need to have different IDs for each board. So probably in a normal car they probably run from perhaps 200 to 210 or however many there were in the, uh, in the original fit. EV. Anyway, so I think that's the thing. Just try to ensure um, that they have different IDs. It's fairly easy to find out the ID, ID by connecting a, a CAN bus analyzer. That's a CAN do analyzer. And uh, it might be that we have to start a um, LTO BMS uh, board swap club. But uh, people have got them already. It should certainly be possible to use them with the BCM replacer. And, um, and that should make cell level monitoring much easier and cheaper. So you wouldn't need an Orion 2 especially. And uh, so that should be a, a lot easier. So I would advise people not to rush and purchase an Orion 2 at the minute if you're going to use LTO. Because you might be able to use that. And also you don't need to have the voltage tap boards or any of that. You just need an A board for the BCM replacer. And that can then talk to the car and talk to the... LTO BMS boards. Obviously it can't do any balancing because we don't know the um, CAN codes to send to the LTO to enable um, balancing but certainly it would give you an indication of where the cells and blocks are and if occasionally you might need to manually balance them. Maybe in the future we can conquer that but at the moment it's just going to give us a nice um, accurate readings of the cell voltages. And certainly accurate to within about 5 millivolts uh, just on my testing with my meter here and the voltages that we've been seeing on the screen. So that's where we are, LTO cell voltages on the BCM replacer. I'm sorry about the focusing on my camera today, it's playing up.